Hello guys, it's me again. This is like, wallah, you literally, once I finished the video, I literally started recording, recording again. I just started. So back to Ibrahim alayhi salam. Now I, the latest thing I said is that to, when he, he was thrown into the fire and then a malak came to him and he said, what would you wish for? Now, subhanAllah, Ibrahim alayhi salam now, of course, if you were in that situation, almost like literally everyone would say, oh, please save me from the fire or something. But he didn't say that. You know what he said? He said, I just wish that Allah was pleased with me. I wish for Allah to be pleased with me. That's what he said. So then right after that, he was falling into the fire. And now something like pretty, any of you knows the story, but like something, subhanAllah, and a bar barakah, and a miracle happened. Now when he had landed in the fire, the fire became cold. Allah had told the fire to cool down for Ibrahim alayhi salam. So now he had said, so now like he's, he's in the fire. Now the only thing that burned from him was the ropes that were, that were attached to his hands and legs. That's, that's all, and the rest of his body was kept safe. And he was just sitting there as if he was in the garden. And now he's that uh, people were so confused, and like, they could even hear him singing, like, praises of Allah. And now he's, uh, he's in the fire, and now the fire, halas now, by now, had run out, like, it had went away. And Ibrahim السلام, walked out with no harm or burn on his on any of his clothes or skin. Not as if he was as if he was not not, not even happened. So they were so confused. Now by now Akid some of the idol worshippers had become Muslim and this and the others were still angry Marr. They were they still wanted to get him really bad. Now one time, now he had married a woman named Sarah. And now he's like, now he's, uh, how do I say this? Now there's this kingdom with an evil, another evil king. And now this king has heard of this beautiful woman named Sarah. And now Ibrahim Aizam was going to take Sarah to meet the king, that evil king. And then what uh, Ibrahim Aizam said, don't tell him that I am Ibrahim's wife because I had told him that you were my sister. So she she also like she said okay. She went inside. She went into the palace. And now this king was struck by her beauty. And she said, and uh, she said that this was uh, yeah, this was uh, his sister. This is, oh, well, not like he's just she's just saying what Ibrahim has now told. Her. And now. The king, that evil king, wants to grab a hold of Sarah. But somehow, subhanAllah, another miracle happens. His hand becomes stiff and he can't move it. He can't move it at all. He says, pray to Allah for me and I shall not harm you. He did, she did, I mean. And then now her, his hand was good again. He tried, the foolish king decided to grab a hold of Sarah again. His hand became stiff again same thing kept happening God pray, pray to Allah for me and I shall never harm you again she did that's a shame his hand kept getting stiff so then now as a gift the king just um, hired a maid for them his na her name was Hajj and then after Sarah came back to Ibrahim Mary she had he had asked her what had happened. Then he said then she said, Allah had taught that evil king a lesson and now he has given me a gift. Meet Hajar. Tomorrow now one day 
eventually Sara and Ibrahim Sara gets really old and now she realizes that she can't have any children so she so then Ibrahim السلام, married uh, Hadi No, Hajar and uh, Hajar has been told by Ibrahim السلام, get ready we're going on a journey so we're on a journey then now Ibrahim السلام, with them until they have landed they have arrived at the barren desert now once he's Hajar and now plus uh, they got a new son Ismail Ali Salam. They named him Ismail Ali Salam. And Hajar is holding Ismail Ali Salam. And now, this was not. Now, Ibrahim Ali Salam now walks away. So she said, Why are you. She's, now she says, Why are you leaving us in this barren desert? But now she realizes that he's, Ibrahim Ali Salam is not acting normal on his own. He, she realizes that Allah has told him to do to do this and then now he she keeps asking has Allah told you so but she he shook his head and went away so then now Hajar is lost with Ismail now she and now she's like really she's trying to help and by the time Ismail was like a baby, of course, and now he gets thirsty and he starts crying. She tries to find for help. Now, you know, these two mountains. What are these two mountains? Safa or Marwa. You can find them now in Haram. Safa or Marwa, the Safa or Marwa was there. And now they, now she's trying to look for help. She like, run. From Marwa, Safa, seven times. She ran between those mountains seven times. And now, but then when she goes to Marwa one final time, she sees Jibreel. And now Jibreel, like she, he struck the ground and now water came out. What is this water? Zamzam. Subhanallah, now it's in fixed lives. It's really good. The he, you know, now, but now after that, she see she like the water is spraying everywhere. Now she builds like a basin around it, like the rocks, you know. And you know, fun fact that if she had not that, if she had not, if she had not done that. The entire earth would have been touched by them by Zamzam. SubhanAllah. Just by the shock of Jibreel's foot. And then uh, like now he drinks she drinks water from it. And the smile I salam. And then other thirsty men is there. They have found water. And now they really they asked if they if they could have some water. She said yes. Now Ismail Ali Salam had grown up. But now after so long now Ibrahim Ali Salam was I mean Ismail Ali Salam so was smart, learned Arabic and stuff like as the time he grew up as a kid. Until one time he had he had finally saw his father from walking and he was so happy to meet him. He was running and then they hugged. Yeah, it's all really nice. So now they hugged and they're really happy to meet each other. Ibrahim Ali Salam really too loves his son. And now, yeah, that was for part two. I mean, like now. I'm having kind. I'm kind of having problems with my iPad, so like, I might make a part three after, like, right after this. 
Plus this video now has been ten has been ten minutes. So I hope to see you soon. I mean like oh yeah, I forgot I'm gonna meet I'm gonna meet you right now. So like I'm gonna make a part three and this part three will be special. It's it's the test of Ibrahim Alisson. But maybe you guys know. I will see you later. I mean, I'll see you now. Ma salam.